Hey there, good morning. It's your friend Kevin. I'm here with my friends Freddy the Teddy, Rufus the Dog and Patrick the Bear back there. This is your card of the day. And I should have reminded you all that today is Monday the 8th of May 2023. I'm using Carl Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle Deck with images by Lily Moses. Our Archangel of the Week that was chosen yesterday is the Chariot um, featuring Archangel Metatron. And I really am getting quite perturbed by <laughs> this camera's inability to focus on these cards. But there you go. Here we are. We've got to focus. It's being a little bit difficult. But there you go. Um... Father in the sky, loving mother of the earth, angels, ancestors from all realms and all beings in all areas of time and space of the light. Thank you for revealing to us what your message is. I am willing to be your messenger. May this message be enlightening, inspiring and be of value. So shall it be. Okay. Uh, where do I want to take though? I'm going to choose this one. There you go. Oh, 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 <laughs> sorry. OK, so in all full transparency, I picked up this deck this morning and turned it over just like this. And the card on the bottom of it was Hilarion. And I was looking at this card thinking to myself, divine healing. And then I read the bottom that said, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can be a support to others. So this to me briefly, 30 seconds a minute, became my own card of the day. So I went, Hmm. I'll learn more about you and this and it later. Thought nothing more of it. Didn't do anything else with it. Put them in the deck and you saw. I just picked a card from that deck. And here comes Hilarion. Gorgeous green robe. Green is the colour of healing. And because we have this emerald image at the heart chakra, many of you, myself included, are going to be experiencing the need for healing to keep place. I read this morning, or at least I channeled this morning, I don't know where the information came from, but I wrote it in my journal and I should probably get my journal out. Because it was quite profound. And when I read, I wrote it, then I read it and I could not quite understand <laughs> the words until I read it back again. Anyway, healing the wounds of the heart and the soul is through the art of forgiveness. Forgiveness requires peace and a willingness to allow love to enter where there was once conflict. Greater courage and power is both needed and attained from the blossoming of love. The greater capacity and flow of love that there is and exists, the more the love can heal and flow and eventually grow. And I gave thanks to God and to spirit and to the angels and to all who brought me that message, not realizing I was going to figure out a way to share it with you. And now divine healing comes along and gives me the perfect vehicle to do this. Quite astonishing. And I'm still in like, well, that is amazing. Um. We've got Archangel Metatron 
along for the ride. And I believe the chariot, which is the number seven, you're on the right pathway, is saying great opportunities right now are available for you to do great healing. The chariot has got a black horse and a white horse drawing it through its pathway. Metatron is directing the direction with which those horses pull. The forward movement. So Metatron essentially is racing through your desires, your dreams, your wishes into manifestation. Metatron is bringing a balance between the lightness and the darkness, the love and the conflict, the healing and the forgiveness together quickly, miraculously, so that we can then go, flow, the light, the love, and just put pay to the wounds of the past. There will be people, places, situations, stories, drama and trauma that shows up on our doorstep, part of which showing up to show us something, to reveal something to us. Part of it shows up for us to see where we are stuck in trauma, which, if you invest in the ego, shows up as dramatic. But let me just read a little bit about Hilarion for you, uh, because I, I, I'm not familiar with this ascended master, and I believe his story will relate to many of you. Hilarion is a spiritual master who lived in the Middle East during the 4th century, and at the age of 15, he felt the call to go to the retreat of St. Anthony, way out in the Egyptian desert. The biz this was busy with people needing healing. So after a while, he went back home with some monks. And during his time with the monks, his parents passed away. It said that Hilarion was so devoted to service that he gave all of their estate to his brothers and to the poor. For the rest of his life, he lived as a hermit in a cave and was said to perform miracles with his prayers and his touch. So to this day, Hilarion is dedicated to the healing, but he also helps spiritual people who feel overly sensitive to overcome their challenges and integrate with the normal world. This is so profound. You know what, the world can seem quite overwhelming at the moment and you should be perfectly okay to retreat. Retreat to a safe place every once in a while, now and again, every day, however long you want to. And do the retreating to cleanse and recharge your energy. And you might be called to serve others in some way, shape or form. But you've got to share the healing with them. Ensure that you are filled up with light, with love, with energy, with harmony, with happiness, right from the get-go. Just make sure that you're not sacrificing your own development for the peace and tranquility and the healing and forgiveness of other people. You've got to surround yourself with healing light. And the healing light of Hilarion. So take a look at this image. Burn it into your mind and your soul and your brain waves. And let the healing angels come round and recharge you right now at this time. On a personal note, then I'll let you go. I shared with you that a few weeks ago, I was the subject of someone who I believe had ill intent. And let's just say that. They've got back in touch. And I was at first a little bit nonplussed. 
as we would be in our human ways. And with peace, with retreating, with getting quiet, with quieting my mind and asking my own self, my soul, my higher self, what is the lesson here? And maybe that's what came through this morning when I was sitting in meditation. That the healing of those wounds, the healings of what I felt, the healings of what happened, the feelings that went along with all of that, will continue as long as there isn't any forgiveness. As long as there isn't any way to understand and to replenish those wounds with love. It's really difficult to do. It's a challenge. And I would say archangels, angels, ascended masters, even the ascended relatives, for those who've gone before us, get it. Every single individual that walked the earth, whether they are related to us or not, understands that journey and they understand the epiphany and the great release and the great relief that's had once love, harmony, happiness and healing takes place. It is a release. It is a relief. There is no other greater feeling than that and that's how the light comes in but it's an art it takes discipline it takes patience it takes power and I will be one that says I want to be of service I want to be of great service to other people now I'm not going to go live in a cave and 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 you know I mean I don't know I don't think I would like that maybe I did it in a past life and it just didn't work I don't know <laughs> but, but I am committed to working with light to working with love to working with healing to working with truth and i'm willing to share all my vulnerability willing to share all of my you know not so great parts of my soul myself with others just to show that we are human and we have a human experience and those things require the balance between the capacity love with light and all the greatness that we have and the balance of being able to see that we got flaws, that we're not infallible, that we can have these not so great thoughts, these not so great habits, these not so great behaviors. But then say, so doing that, we also have to forgive the sins of others in order to really truly move forward somehow some way but the message i get here from hilarion the divine healing is it's okay to fall down it's okay to be uh in that space of non-forgiveness it is okay but when you retreat fill up on yourself first give yourself a break look in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself you love yourself for your flaws and your fabulousness, all of those things, you still have to kind of do that work. Can't really stand up, although some do, and be the great light and love and healing to other people if you're not willing to do that yourself. That's how I feel like we get to the imposterness, the feeling of, yeah, well, we're not really walking the walk and talking the talk. And we know people that do that. Nothing wrong. I learned a long time ago to try to switch the judgment into understanding anyway i've done enough off the soapbox i go listen i love you thank you your comments are golden uh any of you want to jump on the channel and push something in there whatever you want to do whatever you don't want to do um i'm not sure how you share your own links uh with people in there but um you're willing to do it if it shares the light and shines the light on other people until tomorrow be well be blessed be healed be loved be forgiven all those things Bye for now.